Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, February the 28th. It's the third Sunday in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 34, Genesis 44, verse 1 to 17, and the canticle from Exodus, the Song of Moses, chapter 15, verses 1 through 18. And please join me in singing the second verse of the glory of these 40 days. Alone and fasting, Moses saw the loving God who gave the law, and to Elijah fasting came the steeds and cherry. Arts of flame. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Psalm 34, and please recite it with me. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. My soul boasts in you. The humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, glorify the Most High with me, and let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. We looked upon you and were enlightened, and our faces were not ashamed. I cried out, and you heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. Your angel encamps around those who fear you and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek you, my God, shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of God Most High. Who among you loves life and wants many days to enjoy it? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of God are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. Your face, O God, is against them that do evil, to remove their memory from the earth. The righteous cry, and you hear, and deliver them from all their troubles. You are close to them that are broken-hearted, and save those who have a contrite spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but you deliver them from all their afflictions. They keep all their bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You redeem the lives of your servants, and none that trusts in you shall be punished. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. A reading from Genesis 44, beginning at verse 1. Then Joseph commanded the steward of his house, Fill the men's sacks with food as much as they can carry, and put each man's money in the top of his sack. Put my cup, the silver cup, in the top of the sack of the youngest, with his money for the grain. And he did as Joseph told him. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away with their donkeys, and when they had gone only a short distance from the city, Joseph said to the steward, Go follow after the men, and when you overtake them, say to them, Why have you returned evil for good? Why have you stolen my silver cup? Is it not from this that my, food, my Lord drinks? Does he not indeed use it for divination? You have done wrong in doing this. When the steward overtook them, he repeated these words to them. And they said to him, Why does my Lord speak such words as these? 
Far be it from your servants that they should do such a thing. Look, the money that we found at the top of our sacks we brought back to you from the land of Canaan. Why then would we steal silver or gold from your Lord's house? Should it be found with any one of your servants, let him die. Moreover, the rest of us will become my Lord's slaves. He said, Even so, in accordance with your words, let it be. Be with whom it is found shall become my slave, but the rest of you shall go free. Then each one quickly lowered his sack to the ground, and each one opened his sack. He searched, beginning with the eldest and ending with the youngest, and the cup was found in Benjamin's sack. At this they tore their clothes, and then each one loaded his donkey, and they returned to the city. Judah and his brothers came to Joseph's house while he was still there, and they fell to the ground before him. And Joseph said to them, What deed is this that you have done? Do you not know that one such as I can practice divination? And Judah said, What can we say to my Lord? What can we speak? How can we clear ourselves? God has found out the guilt of your servants. Here we are, my Lord's slaves, both we and also the one in whose possession the cup has been found. But he said, Far be it from me that I should do so. Only the one in whose possession the cup was found shall be my slave. But as for you, go up in peace to your father. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's say the canticle together. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider you have thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my song. You have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors, God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's army you cast into the sea. Pharaoh's chosen were drowned in the Red Sea. And the depths covered them, and they sank like stones. Your right hand, O Most High, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Most High, dashed the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your mercy you led the people, the people whom you redeemed, and you guided them by your strength, and they came to your holy abode. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own inheritance, the place, O God, that you made your dwelling. The sanctuary, O God, that your hands have made, you reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, 
as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.